Hi, welcome to my weekly energy forecast. I'm Sarah Louise and I'm bringing you my intuitive insights on what we've got coming up in this next week, starting on the 3rd of May. So Tribe, I feel like we've got a big week coming up. The energy feels, um, it feels quite kind of deep and quite intense and yeah I'm sure a lot of that is got to do with this super moon that we've got coming up and this super moon is in Scorpio and it's the last super moon of this year and it's the third super moon that we've had in consecutive months so it's like we've be kind of been building momentum in the last few months with all this lunar energy so I feel like when we actually have that, depending on where you are um, Thursday this week, Wednesday, Thursday this week, I feel like there's going to be this lovely release and things are kind of lighten up. OK, it's, I feel like it's a bit of a shift coming up. But until then, I feel like we may feel like the kind of shadow and the darkness and this kind of little bit doom and gloomy energy is kind of hanging around us. Um, but please remember that once this full moon comes in and shifts, the energy really lightens up. It's um, it's going to bring some hope and um, some kind of fresh kind of new energy and new cycle and new beginning. And I feel like there'll definitely be a shift. But building up to this, it could get a little bit dark. And um, yeah, that's that real kind of scorpionic energy. Yeah. So the first half of this week, I really want you to have a think about where we've been, where you've been. And, you know, I've called this time kind of walking through a kind of a dark tunnel. And in that dark tunnel, we begin becoming aware of all our shadows and what we don't need and you know we're becoming more and more aware of ourselves and our fears and our insecurities and that's not to torment us or torture us it's about us going into a next stage releasing and letting go and changing and evolving and growing and you know the alignments that have come around to support us in that have been huge so this week I want you to really focus on where you're at and standing in the truth of who you are. So this time's been about, um, as I say, kind of showing up parts of your shadow self, bringing up your fears, bringing up who you are, your insecurities and parts of you that you don't need anymore. So as we go into this new stage, as we kind of evolve more, it's so important that we are our true, real, authentic self and that we stand in our truth. And I feel like we've all been really conditioned to be something, to people please, to fit in, you know, to be a something. And you know, this whole shift in our environment and this whole shift in the world that we're living in right now is stripping back all of those layers to say, just be you. You're enough. You're good enough. Speak your truth. Be who you are. And it's so important. And I want you to think about, you know, standing in your truth, being your truth, you know, just being okay with being who you are because when we're not authentic and we're not being our truth and we're not speaking our truth or living our truth we cause complete misalignment within ourselves you know and the consequence of that is huge yes we're unhappy yes we're not kind of living our best life but you know physically we're not good mentally we're not good and we're realizing that life now is really precious and you know it's you know we're waking up more yeah through this time and so this last little bit of kind of where we're at where we're in this kind of little dark spot at the beginning of the week really have a think about how far you've come and you know who you are and really step more and more into the truth of who you are get vulnerable to be you 
yeah speak your truth live your truth without the fear of you know not feeling part of and all that stuff let that all go that's old because the light at the end of this tunnel that we are going to reach that light aligns with truth and love and authentic authenticity so we have to be it to shine in it yeah so the beginning of this week if it feels a little bit heavy just work there do some work in that area and then as the week kind of got as the weekdays go by when you're coming to the end of the week I promise you you're going to feel this kind of uplifting and it's going to feel like you you know you've got your voice back and it doesn't matter what's going on out there you feel good in yourself and you feel confident to be you and you start to live more and more in alignment with who you really are your true authentic self and that is such a gift of this time yeah you're starting to learn that fear like it's pointless yeah and that no you don't control kind of much out there but that's okay yeah you do have control over you and that's the most important thing and you're learning now how to be balanced how to be aligned and you're learning who you are and that's what this time's been all about so yes the beginning of the week may feel a little bit edgy and a bit intense and you know you may feel a bit off but as this um, Scorpio supermoon comes up and kind of shines it's going to kind of break all that up and after that there's it's like there's new hope and there's new lights and there's this kind of newness coming in so really enjoy that shift yeah really step into that step into more of who you are fearlessly and just know that you're perfect and your truth is your truth and when we live our truth speak our truth align with who we are the freer we are yeah when we're living under all those restrictions that it's only us that restrict ourselves we're not living our best life and we came here to have an amazing experience so that's what I feel is coming up this week and um, you know roll with the energy roll with it and um, yeah have an incredible week enjoy this super moon I have a live event running under this super moon's energy so check out in the bio or the Facebook and really try and join me on this one it's gonna be huge especially for this Scorpio lady <laughs>